everybody, the everyone. I'm Kremlin here from the Techies, and today I'm going to show you how to do some stuff with arrays. So, pretty basic stuff. I believe that this is my first tutorial with uh, arrays, but Eat Sleep has done some in the past, so, you know, checking those out definitely won't harm you. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to add stuff to the end of an array, kind of automatically. So, for this, I'm going to have an array, first array, um, and then I'm going to use the array command like that. Um, if you don't know what this is, you should watch Eat Sleep's tutorial because it explains it. And so I'm going to set up a few values. Um, sure, why not? Um, and one more. There you go. If you get the reference, good on you. And then we will get a second array. We'll start it. We won't uh, go all the way with it. Uh, but we'll use a little different way of doing arrays. So the first term will be the same. And if you don't know what this is, it's like assigning that value to that key. Um, so yeah. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little for each loop. And then we're going to do, we're going to scroll through the first array. And our goal is to get all of the values from this array into this array. So our, we're going to do as value. And we're going to be working with that variable now. OK, and now we do a very simple little command, which is the essence of this tutorial. It's going to be array push, array underscore push, parentheses, obviously. And our first parameter is going to be the uh, array that we want to edit. So we're going to do second array and comma. Second parameter will be the value that we want to put at the end of this array. And since we're scrolling through the first array, um, we're obviously going to use value. So, yeah, and uh, if we were we if we had several different values, then you could keep on doing that. Like value, geez, I can't type value two like that, and an infinite amount. But we just have one, so just for sake of demonstration, um, yeah. Uh, and then this will work. <laughs> then at the end, we can print r to see what we've got, and we can do second array. And if all goes according to plan, then all of the values from here should be transferred into the first array. Or actually, yeah, um, I meant to call this second array. Um, yeah, now it's right. <laughs> Uh, so I'm actually going to demonstrate this for you on my site. So yeah, I just saved it to here. We'll go here. Now you are able to see it. Uh, we'll refresh, and there you go. Um, it this is the second array, and we have zero, which is for the dog, and then so on and so forth. Um, so. To really demonstrate what is really happening here, let's mess this bit of code up a little bit. So we'll set value equal to some constant like, I don't know, whatever. Um, now if we save that, there you go, messing up, lol face, lol face, lol face. And yeah, um, a, an application of this, which I've used recently, is like if you want to transfer data from one array to the other and then sort it, uh, which is using a array multi-sort command, which I could teach you later, I guess, but it's not that hard. Um, it sorts an array based on the other, and for that I need to create a, a new one. And what I actually do is I analyze uh, this first array uh, and then derive a significance out of it. I, I'm doing this for a search feature for my site. Um, and then I arrange the second array based on that. and that requires putting the significance that I derive into um, a new array, which then I 
sort the first array based on. So yeah, um, you can derive a whole lot of uses for this um, and really it's quite versatile. So thank you for watching. Visit th3techies.com to view more tutorials of this type. So bye.